Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to some more LEGO uh, expansion gameplay in Forza Horizon 4. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different things and we're going to be continuing to react to the gameplay that they showed on the recent live stream on Forza Monthly yesterday. So again we are starting to look at the... Um, the sort of skill tree slash roadmap for building your house where you unlock lego pieces based on different challenges that you complete so for example if you didn't watch the last video the uh the blue bricks are race based the yellow bricks are skill based the red bricks are PR stunts and the purples are sort of world discovery related and I believe there are green ones as well uh, that will come into play a little bit later on. So when you actually complete these you will unlock a certain number of Lego bricks which will then lead to uh, your building up your total amount of Lego bricks to unlock different stages of uh, your house. Now that was one of our first tastes of the map that we actually got and they show the map more later, obviously, but the map is actually really, really interesting because the map itself actually is, is displayed in sort of a 3D environment. And so with the map being displayed in a 3D environment like that, it allows you to sort of have this like, have this top down view, but at the same time, you're actually looking at a world. You're not looking at just like a picture. Um, so it's a really, really cool thing. Now, here we see some gameplay of the Lego city itself, and the city actually reminds me a lot of, um, well, I wouldn't say it reminds me a lot of Surfer's Paradise, but you can actually see, you could see some, some, some things in the city that resemble uh, elements of Surfer's Paradise. And again, one of the biggest things that they talked about with this expansion was that all of these different Lego pieces are perfectly scaled to each other. So like, say, the blocks that go into building the cars are going to be the same blocks, or, or well, the blocks are going to be on the same scale as the blocks that went into making, like, the trees, you know what I mean? So, as you can see there, they actually completed one of the challenges to unlock more bricks for the house. So, I think when it comes out on Thursday, one of my biggest things is going to be trying to get that house as quickly as humanly possible. Let me know in the comments section down below what you guys are going to be focused on when the expansion comes out and what the biggest thing you're going to be doing uh, is. What, like, what you're going to be spending your uh, the most time doing now now we're out in the desert and as you can see the desert only lasts for a little while if you're on the main road and then once it changes over to grassland it really changes over quickly so you can see out in the distance there is also uh some realistic trees like not everything is lego but the premise here is that the horizon festival partnered up with lego to actually make a world where some of these things in the world were Lego. Now, this is going to be our first taste of the racetrack, and the racetrack is actually very, very, very cool. Um, it looked in the screenshots that we saw earlier on, it looked in the screenshots like it was going to be a lot more, uh, like it was going to be very smooth, very flowing. And as you'll see in a minute, th it is. It's very much a smooth, flowing, sweeping track, and I think that's the best track they could have uh, gone for because Horizon lends itself very well to that high-speed, fast-paced racing driving style, and this track uh, actually lends itself to that very, very well. Now, the Mini, I'm sure, is going to be a fun car to drive, but the, the other cars in this pack, uh, for example, the Senna and the F40 Competizione, are very... Uh, by the way, now that we're seeing uh, the racetrack from the top down, there's different configurations. So you have a oval, and then you have a you have road course layouts inside the oval. So there's a bunch of different roval configurations with this map. So, or well, with this track, I guess I should say. Um, but I love the fact that it's configurable and the fact that you can actually make it tighter. You can make it high speed. You can pretty much make it whatever you want to make it. And I can see this being a really great place to test out uh, the dynamics of different cars, whether or not they're made of Lego, I could definitely see it being a, um, I could definitely see it being a really cool, a really cool place to just race cars. Now, as you can see, there's a Lego Speed Champions class, and the Lego Speed Champions class obviously is going to be just Lego cars. But as they went through this, uh, went through this process of setting up the race, you know, they kind of reviewed a couple of the different themes. And things like that. Now, of course, the route creator is still active. So if you want to make a race that goes like through a field and then does a couple laps around the racetrack and then leaves and then finishes in the stunt park, go for it. That's 
like, that's up to you. That's your deal. That is your thing. So, I love the fact that they're bringing, uh, like, the root creator in full into LEGO because, like, into the LEGO map. Because I think, honestly, the biggest thing I'm excited about is the map. Uh, the map is, in my personal opinion, the most exciting part of this entire expansion. And... On top of that, the fact that we're getting a closed course racetrack for the very first time in a Horizon game. That is huge! And, hopefully, it'll pave the way for more closed course racetracks in the Horizon series in the future. So, with that being said, that opens the door for all sorts of new ideas. And, honestly, I totally welcome that. 100%. And I think that this is a great way for them to be able to have a little bit of fun with something like LEGO while testing the reaction to a closed course in a Horizon game. So, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about racetracks in the Horizon series. I've had, I've heard some mixed opinions about it because some people are like, oh, that's awesome. We get to drive around on the roads and drive around on a closed course racetrack. And other people have said, well... I don't really like it because it's a closed course racetrack and those should not be in Horizon. Horizon should only be uh, open roads, no racetracks. That's what motorsport is for. So let me know what side of the fence you fall on uh, as far as that debate goes in the comment section below. I'm sure this uh, the comment section of this video will be very interesting and I will be down there to... Um to talk with you guys about all of that stuff. So here we see the LEGO cockpit view. And the cockpit view is very, very cool. The cockpit view is actually very interesting too because the cockpit view is... Uh, you sit in the middle uh, instead of on this particular side of the car and you don't really see their hands move. You just see the steering wheel turn, which is a little bit old school and a little bit different. Uh, but but the, the actual like representation of the LEGO pieces is pretty spot on. I mean, you see like... You know, you see the little circles that say Lego on top of them, and it's it's all very, very high detail, and it's all brought to life in a very true way. So I think that with that, you know, with that being said, and and, and thinking about the fact that 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 that's all that's all there in the quality that it is, I I think that. I think that really the people that are complaining about this expansion really have no room to complain. As far as well, I mean, okay. I guess you always have you you technically could always have room to complain about something. Because that's your opinion, but I personally think that uh, that a lot of people are wasting their time complaining about this expansion without playing it. Now, another thing that I could see the racetrack being very useful for is mini games. I mean, think about playing like you know some sort of crazy game of cat and mouse with your friends on the racetrack itself. I mean, think about having a Lego car going one direction and a couple of Unimogs going the other direction, and seeing what happens when you smash into each other head on. I mean, just crazy stuff like that is literally what's going to happen when this pack goes live. At least in my eyes, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know about what y'all are going to do, but that's what I'm going to do. Now, they're jumping into the F40 Competizione, and as you can see, the cockpit view is fully active, but when they pan around the car, you can actually see that the, um, the wheels are different. You know, you've got the brakes there, and then they were actually talking about how the, the on, on this stream, they were talking about how their aerodynamic system in the game actually looked at these Lego shapes and were like, uh, those are not aerodynamic, dude. And I can understand why, because there's a lot of sharp edges and sharp angles and flat angles and stuff like that, and it's nowhere near as aerodynamic as a real car. Uh, but they were talking about how they had to make a couple of little tweaks here and there to make sure that these cars were as aerodynamically efficient as their real life counterparts and I think from what they said they're not quite as efficient but they're almost there um, because they had to again like I said do some tweaking to the way the game actually perceived the shape of the car but um, they did say that on the whole for the most part these cars will perform almost exactly like their real life counterparts now driving throughout the world I mean you could see that everything really like everything looks Correct. Like, everything looks correct to scale uh, with these cars. Like, if you pull up in this car next to a Lego house or park next to a Lego tree, it looks right. You know what I mean? And it's one of those things where you go, oh, that looks like it's supposed to be there. You know what I mean? Like, that looks like it's supposed to be there. And I was kind of like, like, when they were drifting through this drift zone, I was kind of like, oh, you've brought the wrong car, mate. You've brought the wrong car. 
But um, taking a look at the map, we again see the racetrack up there. We see the UFO crash site and the dinosaur boneyard. We see the airport. We see the, the river that runs through a portion of the map. We see the stunt park, which is one of my personal favorite areas. Um, and I can't wait to check that out soon. We also see um, the pirate cove down there on the left. And we also see our fast travel point back to the mainland as well. Um, we also see the roller coaster down by the Horizon Festival, which they were keen to mention is an actual Lego set that you can build in real life, which actually there's a lot of Lego sets that you could build in real life hidden throughout this map, which is really, really interesting. And also the Lego City is probably going to be another one of my favorite areas because I don't know if they show it in this um, in this section, but they actually when you zoom in on the Lego City, it displays like a ton more roads. Like if you look over there, it doesn't really look like there's all that much there, but when you zoom in on it, oh my god, there's tons of roads everywhere, just absolutely freaking everywhere. So if you guys enjoyed this look at the Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion and enjoyed this look at the map, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.